I got laid off. I got fired. I got fired. But here's the thing. I was a binge guy. I remember seeing her at the local titty bar. I feel dirty right now just telling it into a microphone. We're broken around here. Working man sucks. Everybody, welcome back to the Working Class Halls podcast. I'm your host, Ed McGowan, here in the break room with my co-host, Josh Accardo. Eddie, What's hello. Up, buddy? We doing? got an awesome guest this week. Um, our first guest of 2024. Not only is he a fellow paisan, yeah. <laughs> but also he's very, very funny. His clips are blowing up all over Instagram. Please give it up for the very, 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 very talented Dominic Leonelli. What's up, you guys? How you're you there. doing? You're there. Brother? I'm there. You're right there. All right yeah, there. Yeah, hey, yeah, you guys. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what's up, Don? Dominic, like this multi cam. What's the worst day job you've ever had? I'd say the worst, which I was just kind of telling you guys when I walked in here. Walking dogs in New York. <laughs> okay, so I love that you're going to do this first because yeah. you brought up something that I feel like is so working class whole. It's the the way the business that you work for got its like big break was it was a dog walking thing and they got word to the union of doormen in a specific part of new york city yeah and people like when i go to other places to perform or when i talk to family members and they're like uh do you have a doorman and i'm like well no because this is like the kind of building you got to live in for a doorman and then when i tell them that a lot of these door guys have been in the same job for like 40 years oh yeah they're like, why? <laughs> because you can make, Dude. I, I bet in the 80s and 90s, you could easily pull down 200K a year being a door guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Christmas dude. bonus. This, they're buying, a dude bought a truck, a Yukon truck. I'm like, dude, how much do you guys get for Christmas? He goes, one guy gave me $5,000. Damn, dude. dude. Christmas bonus. $5,000? I mean, these guys are millionaires, bro. Upper <laughs> West Side. For the building that he worked at in specific, you had to show a savings account that you weren't touching worth $1 million to even look at the building. To, yeah, you had yeah. to live yeah. liquid. There. That's yeah. Upper West $1 million. Side. Yeah, yep. and that and that's what what twelve years ago, fifteen years ago. Yeah, that's it's about like, ten years ago. Actually, it's probably like tripled now. So you were okay. So now I want to hear about the job. Wild. I just wanted to make sure people knew the dog walking situation where you can. A lot of comics do this too. A lot yeah. of Walk like dogs, oh, actors. Yeah. That's yeah. like a yeah, thing, yeah. big time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if it's as lucrative now. Maybe it still is. I mean, probably. But it was really, I mean, that's where the money was. There was a dude they hired. He quit selling drugs. He started walking down. <laughs> he started doing it on his own, for real. I seen him. He's like, nah, man, I let him know. So what happened was he stole a lot of the other dude's clients right out the gate. Wow. Yep. Well, that's the move, too. Like, yep. if, Because if you're a dog owner and the guy comes over and your dog now likes you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You're doing it for a year. Yeah. You branch out on your own. Yeah. yeah. We don't want to break Wiggles' heart, you know. <laughs> 100%. Yeah. Dude would be selling dope walking dogs. <laughs> For real. He'd be making drops. He was double dipping? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Double yep. dipping. Selling double dope to dip. the dog owners, too. That's what's crazy. I mean, that would be uh, a yep. great cover. Yeah. Is he my was, dog dude. walker is also my weed dealer. That's like a great, the greatest thing. Yeah. Ever. Dude, I very first got hired. And uh, actually, I met this girl. She was walking dogs and we were hanging out. And. Uh, Anyway, she gives me a piece. She was smoking a blunt and just gives me the piece of it. She's like, it was like around Thanksgiving. We were going to go watch the balloons get blown up and for get faded whatever. That's yeah. a great high so, activity. Dude, so I'm like, okay, cool. She's like, I don't want to smell like it going in these people's houses. My dumb ass, I go in these people's houses too, and I smell like it. One girl calls the cops on me, dude. I get arrested directly for in weed front smell? of. Yeah, this is ten years ago. Oh, for having it, cop goes. She What's that hanging out in your back pocket? So wait, yeah. so you went to go pick up the dog, and the yeah. dog owner called the cops on you? Um, the last girl in the building, a girl in the building of the dog I was walking, uh. like smelled me in the elevator. Something smells funny. Oh, right, because you're in that oh, right. rich-ass yep. fucking neighborhood, too, right? Yep, and then, dude, that was that, saying the cops are there. I just got hired a week into the job, and they got me handcuffed in front of the building, and I got to go inside their house and shit. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a building you have to go back to for your yeah. job, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the best is the next morning when you're finally bailed out, and you have to go walk the dog, and you're like, did they take you downtown? Uh, no, just right there for about 30 minutes. Gave me a ticket. Like a, This was illegal back then, so I think it was like a $90 ticket I had to pay. 
When you're already Something. broke off your Walking ass. Walking dogs, bro. Got the dog Fucking walker. handcuffed. Dude, the yeah. working man oh, is a sucker. Dude. I mean, I, I hate to beat the old horn, but like, you have the rich with their fucking uh, prescription shit. Right. And it's all above board. So uh, you're, yeah. you're an addict just like I am. Yeah, right. But because it's all, you got to get it from the pharmacy, but me... I'm the problem. Yeah. My weed smell is the problem in here. Are you your drug dealer me? went to uh, ten years of college? Seriously, yeah, that's yeah. the only right. difference, right? They yeah. give you that one of those pills. Oh, you got some back trouble? Here, take this. Yeah, <laughs> that's my that's my beef. It's like, dude, I'm dealing with the day to day with my bud. This is the budget I have to deal with my day to day. Right. Just because your bu- your budget's just different. You're not better than me, but you call the fucking cops on me for some weed and they're spending less ten dollars a month getting yeah. the generics <laughs> oh right yeah press script and delivery right <laughs> insurance is covering half of it yeah <laughs> all doped out Dude, that's the way to go yeah so what the dog owner guy uh what the dog uh company guy say when you got arrested did he find out i was just, I actually just <laughs> lied to him about this stuff i used to lie to him so much he started busting me he'd be following me in a disguise because i lied to him so much <laughs> What's one of the disguises? I'd be an hour late to work. I'd be like, no, nah, I walked him. He'd be like, what? <laughs> one time I was lying right to him. He's like, Dom, just turn around. I'm right there. <laughs> he told me. He goes, you know, I'd fire you, but everybody else steals and lies too. <laughs> You're walking dogs all day in the rain, pouring down rain. <laughs> All this shit. Oh, that's he amazing. hired a manager. <laughs> <Those> fucking criminals. <laughs> he started. I love training. That, like, what do you want a payphone? <laughs> right. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm uh, Dom. I'm right behind you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just turn around, Dom. That's what he said. It takes off with like a Panama hat. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, and, you know, one time I actually lost my phone. I didn't show up for the walk. It tells you the walks and all this and that. So I ended up, um, I don't know how I got a hold of him, logging into somebody's Facebook. And I told him, I said, I lost my phone. And he didn't believe me. Dude, he went and found my phone somehow. He's like, hey, I got your phone. He's like, you know, I went back. You told me where you picked it up. So he goes, I called all the hotels in the area to see if somebody turned it in. Sure enough, somebody turned my damn phone in. I love how he knows how to run your life better than you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, this you is why really you're the boss. To own this company. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm sorry. I said you're a fucking dickhead and all that stuff. Sorry for hugging your wife every time I seen her. <laughs> Tightly. Yeah, you know you don't need to hug my wife. Okay. So <laughs> a handshake would do, Doc. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll remember this day forever, Cindy. Yeah. Oh my God. No, give me another hug. No, we're going by hug. Dom, you were just here 10 minutes ago. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're the second person on the show that said dog walking was their worst job. And that's uh, hard. I mean, the lady that he hired a manager and he's like, I'm going to have a lady come with you. She's graduated and she's going to be head of HR. She's going to revamp the business, try to make it easier for everybody. So she comes walking. She's like, so what would you say like you hate least about the job? And I'm like, well, picking up shit right now. I was like, there's some way we could just leave that here. <laughs> you know, <laughs> wiping the dog's asses. That sucks. Uh, basically everything walking in the rain. Oh, know? yeah. The Matter weather's got to be the worst part of that. That's what pissed us off. It's like for, he hires this girl to be a manager, and she lets it out. She's getting 60000 a oh. year to be, just tell us what to do. We're like, well, you know, if you just pay us a little more. We probably would not be so yeah. disgruntled that right. we would do a better job. Yeah, yeah, I would pick up the shit or with Or is that smile. true, though? We're all working class dipshits here. We've all done a lot of dumb shit. I feel like the one thing that separates the working class from anyone else is that there's a st- almost a stupid loyalty like you said this great thing before we were rolling where like you had a boss say oh, you're a little down on your luck when he hired you and he spotted you some ducats right that makes me it's stupidly loyal it 80 does. bucks so you just loyal. bought yeah. a friend for life yep. right. you're in a brawl and i see it yeah. i'm the first guy jumping in getting cracked with a bottle like i am that kind of working class knucklehead yeah. where that means the world to me you let me eat off your table oh okay it's like being in a bar and like some guy's hitting on your girl and you're like, yeah, but he bought me a shot earlier. He's right. right. <laughs> I said a bit like yeah. that. Like my dirtbag family of Hitler bought him a six pack of Coors Light. They'd be like, he ain't all bad. I mean. Right. <laughs> yeah, baby, you look good. <laughs> you know That's Japanese whiskey he bought me. 
You know, that shit ain't cheap. <laughs> Seriously, I got five guys right now on a Blarney Stone drinking with some piece of shit low life. Be like, yeah, that guy's all right. Yeah. He bought me the Jameson. <laughs> That's an old mob trick. That's what they do. They'll pay you a few extra hundred. Yeah, hey, you owe me. Don't worry about yeah, it. Yeah, no, yeah. I never want to get involved with that bullshit. No. No, but 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 I but you're saying but you're right though. When someone does that for you, you're like, if you just give me a little more, I I would work harder. That's all you really have to do with with that kind of job. Just a a job though. It's like that for a little while. Or you need to hire one of those guys. You need one of those guys that they hire in that just lies. Oh yeah, no, the boss he's struggling, man. Oh, you want to be him? Yeah. Your fall guy, right? Like, you, you feeling gotta... bad for him? Yep. You know, that's totally. what you need. They get those rats in the company. Yeah, you know, yeah. Pay him a little dollar extra. Don't tell those other guys what you're making. Yeah, you know, Dom took a 20 minute coffee break. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he used to bust me all the time. I was walking other dogs on the side. He goes, So, who's the bulldog? I'm like, All right, look, man, I was just helping a friend out. I'm fucking lying. It's like, Dude, I need to survive over here. So that's why I, he must have so much time to play. What's that show? The, the boss? The undercover, bo- boss. undercover boss? <laughs> Dude, he does. He shut right behind you. Disappearing out of nowhere. Yeah, one dog bit me. My hands bleeding. He goes, "Well, I mean, you're gonna live, right?" It's like, when's that? The day? I was like, "Dude, I'm getting fifteen dollars. I don't want to walk this I fucking dog." I don't have dog. benefits, dude. What if this dog's sick or I'm all fucked up? He's exactly. like, "All right, I'll take care of it. I got you. Meet me on Seventy Second and Broadway. You know, he's spying on somebody else." And he gives me welder's gloves. He's like, "Here, <laughs> put these on, and you won't feel the dog bite." And the dog says, ah, 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 "Right." And then the, the owner's calling me. Yeah, my dog. It stopped eating. I don't know what's going on. I'm thinking, well, maybe it's because I got to chase it with, with steel-bound leather gloves. <laughs> My boss gave me these medieval time gloves yeah. from this night. I'd be playing pranks with the dogs. I'll be honest, the job itself, I like dogs, so it wasn't all the way bad. But like those dogs, I'd come in and they'd be excited to see me. I used to make these crazy faces like a dog's, and they'd be, Rah! you know, and I walk in, I'm making this face. And this dude's in bed, he goes, oh, God. Oh, God. Christ. I was like, oh, I'm just playing a game with the dog. He's like, yeah, don't, don't do that no more. I didn't even see. He's laying in bed. Yeah, I took the day off. Oh, my God, my heart. I was right in this dude's face. I didn't even see him. Gibbles. Oh, my God. Uh, uh, that's fucking great. What a... Uh, so I brought up Ronnie Fleming before we got on air. Shout out Ronnie. He lived in a dog like boarding thing. <clears throat> oh wow! They would board dogs, and he was telling me like he was a dog lover until he got the job. He didn't hate dogs. He wasn't mean to the dogs by any means. But when it's not your animal, no, yeah, he was just kind of like after a while, I yeah. I just got tired of because now this dog has diarrhea. Right. And I'm cleaning up this dog's diarrhea. Are they sick? Are they vomiting? Yeah. Are you know? It's like are they can't get along with this other dog? Or just in general, it's just not your kind of animal. Like now you're dealing with everybody's dog. Well, yeah, exactly. Here's the thing: you're taking care of dogs that aren't well trained, right? So now I'm, I'm, you're picking up somebody else's problem, mm-hmm. right? Like yeah. I, I kind of my dog's pretty well trained. Yeah. You know, I got an easy dog, uh, but like he, you know, he listens, shit like that. So it's like when I'm around somebody else, that doesn't their dog? I'm just like, dude, figure it out. I mean, you you like dogs. I do. That, I like did it dogs. make you not like dogs after a while? Or no, I still liked them. But I'll be honest, there was certain things like, dude, just the thought. I'm scarred for life. The amount of shit that I picked up, honestly, it's like just. I got to a point where I can't. I'd throw up. I don't know. Something Whoa. happened. I couldn't do it no more, dude. Really? It's yeah. just I just know I'd have to pick that shit up, and you feel it, and you're just like, dude, I just can't. Isn't that funny how texture? <laughs> you can hold your breath, but the right. texture somehow gets into your brain and you know that it's right. shit that that's what sparks it i think it's the carrying of it right the, and now like it's one thing is like pick it up uh, and like, you're walking like what eight dogs at a time yes yeah, so you're picking up eight you gotta so you're pick carrying it up like yeah. a fucking santa claus sack of fucking Dude. shit over your shoulder just constantly <laughs> bending over and picking up shit and then you got the, like the leashes and you already got another bag of shit they're pulling yeah, wrapping right. their legs around you that's the, the leash they part smell like piss, piss. yeah they yeah. the <laughs> You get some that are fucking jumping on you, scratching you. 
you get a little then fucking I can't, shit you on know, your hand. You're like, God damn, now you got to walk with your hand like this for the rest of the fucking... He got to the point to where he's changing us all around. I couldn't keep track of all these dogs. 30, I'd be calling them different names. I'd come up with a name that fit the dog for me. I'd be like, Winston, come dog. here. Yeah. And after like, you know, six months, that dog will be turned. You got Winston, that motherfucker will take that treat. <laughs> Sounds like giving them like mob yeah. names. <laughs> hey, <People>, man, hey. <laughs> I'd be over their house. People would be calling their car dog Janchi. It's just sitting there not even looking. <laughs> yeah, maybe you want to try Winston. Hey, give Winston a go. <laughs> and uh, give him one of these. Give, give Winston yeah. a go, will you? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Have you ever, now, have you ever worked like waiting tables or any kind of like union gig? You ever had one of those jobs? I had one dude that wouldn't let me do it actually. I had a thing catering, uh, you know, catering company where you go to Times Square, you got to pick up the white jack. I don't know if you guys ever did this. They just hired like 100 people at a time. The catering gig? The catering yeah, I never gig. did it. I, I did it. Like, I worked in a restaurant and we did like events sometimes, but like <laughs> never like straight up just catering gig. This was straight up catering, dude. It was like you pick up a gig, maybe it takes three hours. You have to go back and forth to Times Square to get the vest. You have to drop it off. Dude, it's $100 to rent the fucking vest, right? You got to rent it. They charge you? $100 to rent it. They reimburse you. It's oh, like, oh, a, oh, yeah. As long as you don't get stains on it, that have to take it all the way downtown financial district. They train you on the gig. Then you do the gig. So they get me halfway through training. I'm supposed to carry a thing of potatoes this big. Dude, uh, it's about 100 pounds. It's overfilled with potatoes. And they want me to hold it with one hand. And, you know, and I'm trying to serve. The, it's like, dude, you can't do it. You're leaning fucking, in. And right? fucking serve? What, like Al Groton? <laughs> yeah, it's just like, and, you know, I just couldn't get it down. There was something about the movement. Of, I just, for whatever reason, I couldn't figure it out. Other people were doing it. I just couldn't get the lean in there, right? And, <laughs> dude, you know, and they ended up firing me because it was for Bill Clinton. They're like, we can't waste time. You know, you can't do it. They're like, we can't take the risk. They're like, Clinton gets a half a million dollars for one hour. And, oh, it's like a speed. Yeah, they can't go yeah. a minute over. Uh, they're like, we just, you can't, you can't do it. And I'm like, <laughs> dude, it's crazy. You did all that. I had to bring it back. I yep. was waiting for I was waiting to hear that you fucking dropped fucking all grod and right in Clinton's lap. Yeah. <laughs> Go meet him a little bit. Hey, so tell me, what about that broad that <laughs> What about this one broad? Yeah. Is is the Winsky did that that's real? <laughs> Let me ask you something. Do aliens exist? Getting fired after they've <clears throat> trained you. One for Bought you. Bought the corkscrew and shit, the Altoids, you have to buy Altoids. Oh, they want your breath. Yeah, you, you want to be. Uh, oh, it's one of those like gum, high end haircut. Damn. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I worked at a place where you had to, I, you couldn't have like any kind of facial hair, any of that stuff. You ever sleep with anybody at the job? At work, I don't think you know. There was one girl as a bus boy at this place, Tonic, over by the stand. Oh, I remember Tonic. Remember the yeah. but the one by the stand with the floors or whatever. Hell yeah, the hookahs. Yeah, I, I used to look like it. I used to always drive by Tonic at four a.m. On the way home in the yeah. cab, right? Like on a Saturday night after shows and I'm out getting fucked right. up and I'd be in the, like, man, sometimes I want to pull over and go to Tonic. It looked like right. it was yeah. like banging in there. It is jumping. They'd have like the the basketball teams there and shit. Oh, it wow. was lit. Oh, shit. Rooftop, hookahs, and it was a cool spot. What was to Tonic was on like Irving? It was like Third Avenue and like twenty third yeah, or twenty eighth. Trying to cut the Queensboro Bridge, I would they would head up that way. Oh, you right could see the empire from stand. it. Yeah, yeah the, the old stand. stand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think the new stand. Yeah, yeah. But a girl worked there. I was a bus boy, and I ended up hooking up with her dude. This girl was crazy. Rich girl from Long Island, wedding photographer. She's like, "Oh, do me a favor, help me. I want to put the lazy boy recliner on the chair." How long have you been sleeping together at that like, point? Well, I just met her, and she lived by the place. Saying so, I ended up, yeah, I did. I hooked up with her, mm -hmm. and she's like telling me to do stuff. She's like, you know, if you throw this away, I'll give you ten bucks or something. And I'm just sitting here like, what's this <laughs> bitch even talking about? I just hooked up with her, and then she's all giving me life advice. I'm like, look, I'm all right, even though I was a fucking broke, <laughs> I was a broke bus boy at Tony. Isn't that great how Italian knucklehead, you're like, <laughs> you tell your lowest, you're like one step before homeless. <laughs> Who are you? He yeah. got arrested walking dogs six months ago. <laughs> yeah. He's, now he's busting tables. He's like, listen, listen, hon. I'll take you I $10, <laughs> but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you right. I went off. I was like, what are you doing? I pulled that move. 
<laughs> I'm like, dude, what are you doing? I'm doing all right. You know, I don't need your help. <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst. <laughs> yeah. I know I've been wearing the, Yeah. <laughs> I want to be a busboy. <laughs> <laughs> my father was a busboy. <laughs> it's in my blood. It's yeah. in my blood. I believe in Tonic's image. <laughs> Tonic's image. <laughs> yeah, and she's like, I just slept with you because I thought you were some scrub from the Bronx. She goes, I'm trying to piss my dude off. What? And she was mad when I was lying. I was like, I'm successful. <laughs> <laughs> I did tell her that. She was pissed what off. What was like doing what? I think I lied to her about something. I said I'm waiting on a lawsuit. I'm waiting on a lawsuit. <laughs> I got eight grand coming, you dumb bitch. Got hey, rear end. Hey, He's coming my way. <laughs> got rear ended. Uh, Let me tell you something. That Honda had new rotors on it. <laughs> Fucking don't try to cheat me out all the way around. I got a lawsuit coming my way. You stupid bitch. Uh, How dare you? Uh, she was getting money for a wedding too, man. And she would do it. She made, but she had a nice place, all that, and was working two jobs. And yep, she, she was hot. just rich, hot girl, rich. Li- but honestly, really psychotic, man. Like she was just putting furniture on stuff for. No, I couldn't. Yeah, understand when you were it. saying that, I didn't. I glossed over it, but she wanted you to put a recliner on. Top yeah, of she a was recliner. like always doing that. Let's put. Oh, I got an idea. And for real, just be dumb stuff. Put this table on top of my mattress, or and I'd be like, "What are you doing? Like, like taking photos? Like, of it, yeah, or? she was like, just." Is weird Cokehead Like it sounds like Like, like a an addict Like a, my dad would just Like got a mess yeah yeah, yeah, yeah yeah I think she was one of those People that her parents Just let her do whatever And she and became eccentric But Don't AKA know how to operate She thought right. that was like her art Yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah My right. parents told me it's good Yeah yeah one of those. I don't know. I had to quit. And, you know, I, I quit hanging out with her on her choice. You know, I kept calling her. It's not like I gave up after calling. that. A week later, you know, I forgive you. <laughs> Was there somebody funny. else putting the table on the bed? I'm getting jealous. Yeah, who did you get to lift that table? <laughs> yeah. Find out it's the it's other oak. fucking bus boy. Oak table. Yeah. Which bus boy put your fucking trash receptacle on yeah. the kitchen sink? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, dude, that's such a funny story. Like, I've said that to a rich girl before too. Like where I'm like, nah, I got a couple grand. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I told this girl I quit my job I, and I got fired. I, but I said yeah, I quit. Yeah, I'm course. like, but I'm good. I got a couple grand. And the look on her face when I said that was like a couple grand. Yeah, yeah. Buddy, we're gonna last you a week. Yeah. And by the way, can I borrow six hundred bucks? I'm good for it. You good with? You want to hold my passport? passport? Dude, I just love how you know. You kind of outkicked your like I I love the times where I was the biggest loser of my life at that time and I had a girl who was like halfway decent looking and yeah because you would gauge it at that point like if someone's hot and they're with me then I must be doing something right it was just solely off of looks at a oh, certain right, age yeah. right yeah and I just remember being like pining for these awful women who just just because they made me feel like I was doing better than I really was and just making that call after they've already dogged you out a bunch just like hey uh, what are you up to I had a girl I said this I was drunk and it's the first time we hooked up and it's that same girl with a couple grand we're hooking <laughs> up that night and uh, I go she took off her top and her she had just huge tits and it was like deceptive like I just I was like oh. isn't that the greatest and I went gift? like this I went oh I think I'm in love <laughs> 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 ruined the whole fucking thing. You were so she good at ruining the moment. You ruined it. She was like, "We gotta, let's go." And then she like called it off. Like it stopped. The whole thing stopped. Oh man! And I was like, "Oh fuck, here we go." So it, now she calls me up the next day, and I go, "I could hear it like right out of the gate." She wants to like not see each other. I go, "Hey." I got an idea. Why don't we just take like a little break? Oh yeah, you Peter saw it. it. I got, I got like got to like I got the jump. Like your on your it. attic intuition yeah, yeah. kicked in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. I know what this call is. Isn't I'm like, it great when you're an addict and you're you've been manipulating people for your whole life <laughs> just to get your fix. You like learn the voice. Like, yeah. Oh, I'm about to get fire. I'm yeah. about to get broken up. Like you just know when you're about to get. You know over. you did bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and she goes, she goes, okay, yeah. We if that's how you want to say it, I'm like, all right, good. Two weeks later, I'm like calling oh, her on her front door with a mixtape. Oh, dude, yeah. her friend. I'm seeing her friend at the dog park. I go, your friend's blowing me. Oh, yeah, I remember those days. Yeah. Well, I'm talking to somebody now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
this this fictitious world you've built solely to hopefully get this this woman back. Yeah, fucking lunatic. I once told a girl trying to get back with her. I said, "Oh yeah, well I guess it's a bad time to tell you I'm gonna be on Comedy Central." I just lied. (laughs) She stayed with me for like three weeks. She's like, "Well, where's the email? Surely they'd send something like that." (laughs) Where's the email? Yeah. (laughs) What jobs have you done while doing stand up that you have found to be doable? If you had to do them. I'd say, oh, honestly, you know, doable, hands down, with stand up was that gig job, Task Rabbit. You ever heard of that? Oh, yeah. Bro, that's an easy one to pull off with stand up. You really? make your hours, you're Are making you good with good your money. Hands? I mean, I'm okay, but you don't even need to be that good for that. <clears throat> like, um, you know, you're going places. If you're not amount of TV, that's good. But even it's doing shit for rich people where they're like, I don't want to bother. Like building an Ikea dresser or something. They'll pay you 150 bucks to do that. Damn. You know, it's easy money. Yeah. I We had a, what? Uh, Andre was in here. Andre Thompson said mm-hmm. he did Task Rabbit. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right. He said yeah, he, yeah. he couldn't do a lot of stuff. Yeah. I don't know how to do shit. Man. No, I would be fucked. I paid a guy $25 to just put a doorknob on. I'm the guy that needs Task Rabbit. I'm yeah, the dude. Yeah. <laughs> like, I had to mount some TVs, and if it wasn't for Zachy Peanuts, I would have had to pay a Task Rabbit guy to come do it. Yeah. I'm that shit, I, I would ruin someone's whole apartment. When oh, I, I first moved in with my, with my wife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. with my wife, she had plaster. You know, the apartment had plaster walls, so it's like, and I'm just used to drywall. I grew up with like sheetrock. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've, you know, put a bunch of holes and shit. I yeah, know how right. to fix. You told her you know what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, so she goes, uh, "Isn't that funny how we all? I, I mean, I don't know about you, but uh, we all. I, my house was filled with." Holes in the wall. Oh, <laughs> this my father punching holes in the wall like a uh, fucking yeah. animal. Oh, dude, I you had live s- here. You have sicko. I had posters. That's why I had so many posters in my room. Just, <laughs> just covering holes. I just come home and just punch the fucking wall. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! But so I go to my wife. I go, no, I know how to do this. I can, I can do this. The, uh, you just got to do the. Uh, sp- oh, man, I, did, I had no idea, dude. It uh-huh. took me three days on this one what, little mountain of TV. Or no pretty- spackling. Oh, plaster yeah. because it's not the same and I had no idea yeah. I, I was just sanding for days and finally oh, she's man. like there's just dust everywhere she's like what is happening yeah, what are we doing? doing I'm like I don't know what yeah, I'm doing I have good. no idea yeah I fell in over my head me and my buddy did we had this boss he was kind of a crackhead and he would let like, just disappear on the job and we booked a big job on like 140th and we all needed the money Amsterdam it's a construction game it was remodeling a three story it was big but just the outsides not the rooms it was just like the living areas the hallway uh-huh. fixing like a step yeah. shit I don't yeah, know yeah. how to do so we got a guy at Home Depot actually my buddy like said he worked with him once before tile and floors and the people were racist so we take on the job we buy all the supplies and we got this dude in there and they didn't want him there because they were racist. They're like, bro, we don't want, what not around the, our kids. What, uh, oh, wow. Yeah, it was on 141st in oh, Amsterdam. Oh, sorry, yeah, wow. Yep, oh my God. and we're like, dude, he's the only one that knows what, what to do. He's the actual worker. Like, he's we the- had to fire him, just brought him there, told him, yeah, we'll hire you. We're using Google Translate. We all called him Max. And anyways, <laughs> he goes, um, the day before, when we first get there, we all get lunch. He just came here from um, Venezuela. And we all get lunch and... Uh, you know, the New York heroes are huge. You get a, a full hero. Yeah. He couldn't believe he's looking at this sandwich <laughs> like, so no, like he's telling us. <laughs> he's like, no, no, no. It's too. And he's showing us. We're like, no, that's for you. And he's telling us half, half. And we're like, dude, do whatever. You, that's your sandwich. Yeah, take it home. So, whatever, we, yeah. yeah, it's a whole ordeal about the sandwich. Me and my buddy, we're Googling how to speak to him. We're like, put it in here. You know, we don't know. He's calling somebody. <laughs> We're like, dude, you eat that, Max. We're eating ours. See, the food's gone, Max. And then the next day, the guy tells us, he pulls us aside. He goes, yo, man, um, what the fuck are you guys doing? We're like, what do you mean? He's like, do you know this dude? Do you have papers on him? Is, is he a murderer? And we're like, well, we found him at Home Depot. <laughs> He's like, I don't want this guy around my kids. You found the surprise. You know? <laughs> and uh, we had to fire him. And he thought it was over the sandwich. <laughs> He's all like, no, I won't eat. We're telling him, no, Max, it has nothing to do with this sandwich. Dude, we couldn't get <laughs> it across to man, this guy. Poor guy. <laughs> he was the only one who knew what he was doing, man. Yeah. So Wait we couldn't finish the job. <laughs> this day and age Dude These jobs are fucking nuts <laughs> I fucking love this Yeah This is the best Incredible Holy shit 
Oh my god! You didn't even get to the task rabbit. So this, <laughs> how long did you work with this guy? This was this guy. Contractor? I worked with him for like a year. He was a comic, actually. I don't want to mention his name, uh, but he was a comedian. He quit now, but yeah, he ended up. He's clean now, but I knew him when he was going through that shit. He would oh, have he me showing legit, up places. He's oh, like, okay. go to this address. The girl's name's Donna. Just start banging around. Measure the window a lot. <laughs> he's telling me I got paid. She paid me two fifty to bring a guy there, and and he didn't show up. <laughs> you know. And he's like, just go. So I'm just measuring the window. The girl's watching me. She goes, well, how many times are you going to measure that window? She's helping me. He's like, dude, I'll give you 100 bucks. Just go. <laughs> I'm just at this girl's house. Random tools. <laughs> he's like, put some paint on your hands. <laughs> I'm showing up. I have no clue what I'm doing. <laughs> and then uh, he ended up disappearing for real. He owed me some money, and then he paid me like five months later. But I was waiting this whole time for this Task Rabbit gig to come through. It was hard. And when I finally got it, I was like, fucking A. And I, I was like, I'll do anything. I was desperate. But it was just you build up gigs one at a time. Do you get so is Task Rabbit like an Uber thing? Do you get like a rating and shit like that? Like Yes, yeah, so you gotta tell people, hey, give me a rating, this and that. And dude, some of these tech startups, bro, it's insane the amount of money you can make. Somebody was closing down their office. They had like a bunch of stores, ran for a couple years and they were closing it down. But it was like some sort of a startup for like women's empowerment clothing or whatever. That lasted maybe a year and a half. I knew him throughout the whole thing. So they paid me to set up a store, close down a store. It wasn't much. It's just they didn't want to rent a big truck, hire a guy, and move shit. Yeah. Like they're like, oh, that's a pain in the ass. There's like that middle level of things that you're going, this is not big enough for this money, and it's too big for this. Right. this let's hire someone to do this. But, dude, I noticed after a short time, no matter what price I threw them, they just said yes. Like, I, I went from when I first hired, I built, like, 20 tables for them. Like, man, that's a big job. But then it went to me going to Ikea, borrowing their credit card, and buying electronic, t like, $3,000 worth of Ikea stuff. And then I'm like, wow, okay, they spent 3000 on Ikea. I'm about to hit them hard. I'm just like, oh, honestly, I can probably with the truck, 12500 Dude, they said yes. I couldn't believe it. I made that in like a week or 10 days, 12000 deposit in the account. Shit, dude. Yep. That's incredible. I had a few of those with them. How would how was the and they went out of business. how was the work? Did you do I did like good. good work? Yeah. Yeah, I did good work. I put my heart into it. Um even got my buddy a gig in there painting too. Put him on too. I was telling him, bro, hit him higher. He's like, I can't, I can't not. He's like, it's painting three doors. I'm like, tell him a thousand. He's like, I can't do it. <laughs> I'm like, dude, just do it. So in like a half a day, he made like a thousand bucks. Yeah, they were just throwing money around. That's wild. And that's because you had like a good task rabbit rating. That's well, like when I met them, I didn't even have that good of a rating. I just. Met him and I was very yeah. I guess you never know what opera. I was in the right headspace. Like well, you're very charismatic too, though. Like I try to be. You're like uh, just even sitting here now. Like you're very like calming. Like you huh. you you have this authority about you that's like, you know, I know you. So it's like <laughs> it's unfounded. Yeah. <laughs> unfounded. Yeah. But it still comes through, man. Yeah, that's fucking great. They did it. And I just went forward with it like, hey, I'm so and so. I could do anything. I was coming off some good jobs. And honestly, there's some hustlers on there. I don't know if you can make the same amount of money that you could Probably now. Not. But it's like, more, like you said, startup tech stuff. Is, yeah. yeah. Well, even back then, when I was on First on Task Rabbit, they had same day gigs. And you'd make $100 to build a shoe stand somewhere. I don't know. You forget how rich people in New yeah. York are. Yeah, you, but that's yeah. the thing is everyone thinks. Because you're struggling, then no one would pay. Right. I would never pay someone a hundred bucks to do build a shoe stand. Exactly. Shoe stand. Minutes. But then you're realizing, like, but yeah, but if you made even a double what you're making now, you would think about doing that. Paying and a lot of to these people. It's their father's credit card. You show up the girls yeah. 21 years oh. old. West Village. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you you just know. You're like, all right. It is with, I'll give you an extra hunt. You walk in, girls will be charged with ever. It's my dad's credit card. Fuck him. <laughs> I feel like, yeah, he's paying for all this shit. Charge six hours. Dude, I've had one or two like that. Fuck him. What made you leave it if it was going that well? Just stop um, being lucrative or? Yeah, I started, um, I did a real big thing moving. Well, actually, I started cutting back originally with um, it in general. I was doing a lot of stand up. 
and I kind of got lazy. I was doing, I was getting pretty lucky with the stand up. Mm-hmm. I was in at a couple clubs, and I didn't really need to do it. And then also kind of dying out that stuff. But then the pandemic hit, and then that's when I took it to the big level of um, I was renting trucks and I was really uh, making some bread in the yeah. pandemic. Yeah, nice. Yeah. But yeah, so it had its ups and downs. It was real lucrative at one point, kind of a downer, and then with the pandemic, that shit skyrocketed. Have that's you what. always? when it comes to making money prefer to do it on a, on a hustle level as opposed to like, I'm an office, like I, I'm the office working class hole. Yeah. I do office jobs. He's the wait I staff. A, I worked a lot of restaurants, a lot of restaurants. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what I would do in an office to help somebody out. I know, yeah. Yeah. I, that's what I mean though. So is that like what you've always done is always looked for like a hustle kind of job where you make your own hours. You d- you could finagle the price if you want to. It's just more liberty that way. Or I guess I, I I've, I've sold used cars. Oh shit! And I could see like I've done every kind of like charming greaseball job you could have. I've yeah done. yeah. I could always like put me anywhere. I'll sell anything. I'll like if I can get in the room, I'll make myself money. So I've always found ways like to the job required me to be charming as opposed right. to being good. Because I knew I, for a long time I wasn't going to be very good. Dude, charming goes a long it, way. It man. goes a long, oh, way. Yeah, a long way. Especially selling cars. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. So th- those are the that's the reason why I always gravitated towards jobs like that. But for you, it's just like, that's the way we make money in my house kind of thing? Or uh, no, I fell into the task rabbit thing. <laughs> I worked at a car detail place in Ohio. And actually, I tried to sell cars too. But in New York, you're not going to really make any money detailing cars. Like mm-hmm. that That's sewn up. At least the level I did it was just at a car dealership. I wasn't some like master detailer yeah. that knew about paint and shit. I mm-hmm. was just... You know, if you buy a new Ford, I'll make it look nice for yeah. you. But here, dude, I went to a few dealerships, and you see these guys hustling up. Seven people have a car done in four minutes. Oh, mm-hmm. wow. You know, in yeah. uh, New York, it's like they're not paying them shit, sadly. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You know, a lot of these jobs, even back then, like the restaurant and construction, you know, you're competing at a low wage. Yeah, yeah, you oh, really yeah. are. <laughs> Especially yeah. restaurants, dude. But I moved, I moved here in two... When'd you move here? Uh, 2014. I moved here 2000 From Ohio? yeah. I moved there in 2001, and I couldn't even get a, like I waited tables <clears throat> like for 10 years at this point. I couldn't get a job waiting tables. In right, New York. like it was Crazy. just so like you had to have like this fucking resume. I'm like to wait tables. What are it's you insane me? how they can get eight million people on the island when you can't even get an apartment without 50 people signing on if you don't yeah. make at least a hundred oh, grand dude. a year. Yeah, I had to do the sublet thing. Right? I was I was oh, always dude. a sublet kind of. Uh, I don't know how the city runs? Just just renting it from some other wild dude yeah. who wild. You know, got kicked out from his wife and then is now back in. You know what I mean? Right. You, you got to find someone uh, when you come in. You got to find someone on their way down. Yeah, to right. Get with. Yep. It's never like well, I get the apartment and like no no no. It's not like a regular city. You got to find a guy whose whole life is crumbling <laughs> <laughs> to yeah. become your roommate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, or be able to show a shit to like when I had to get my apartment. I couldn't. They're needing two different co-signers with mm-hmm. crazy amounts of money, and then I got to a point I was doing the moving, so I was getting those deposits. Like, oh, yeah, yeah dude, moving's I, a great dude, insane start deposits up for any like oh, yeah. regular dude. You could. I mean, now that's how that. What's it called? A like piece of cake. Piece of cakes everywhere around here. I feel like they started from the pandemic. They did. They did. In fact, I knew a guy that lives in this building that was doing it for a hot minute during the pandemic, and he was making change i think he bought a bunch he was one of those guys like crypto guys oh yeah oh, you know, like those shit. guys that like uh, he invested all his money in crypto but i think he got out maybe oh. not i don't know he's one of us he probably didn't get out yeah he probably stayed. but it's one of those guys that like wants to be driving a lambo in miami kind of guy uh yeah but he started one of those moving businesses get the spray tan going the whole nine well there's a whole lot of comics that, <clears throat> that are movers like that's a that's like a common yeah thing i hear you could pretty much be an idiot and make killer money. like dude i'm like Oh, you would I would do that and they would pay you. you'd be like how am I why is nobody else doing this but then you're like because it sucks <laughs> you know yeah, you you're break moving boxes shit. Like, I don't want to break oh, yeah I was shit. real careful with that but sometimes you know you pick up a table it falls apart you lose out I had one girl dude because we're review based going back I should have just said fuck it and charged her she had a coffee table I told her I said look this isn't even I was like t- knew this is like $30 you know I said I can't even move this it's I was like you got taped and she's like it's okay just pick it up I don't care do I pick it up it falls apart she takes a picture what a she piece goes of shit. yeah I just want an hour charge it was, co- it was like an eight hour move a thousand dollars I had to do it for like 120 bucks and then here was the leeway on it so this is what 
where it really got me too. She knew somebody that was in a high position of booking at that time in comedy because I had in my profile comedian. Uh, Dude, I took that shit out. I'm like, I bet you she don't even know this person. You know, I bet you she's just lying to me, seen that in there. I fell for it. I'm like, all right, but you better. Do I hit her up, hit her up? Finally, that shit said blocked. I had to make a fake Instagram account. I messaged her. Like, hey, you know, that was a $1,000 move, you, you know. You said you had my back on that, so I don't, you know, charge you 120 bucks. You know, nothing. Uh, dude, dude, she promised to get you in somewhere? Yeah. Oh, man. Wow. Ugh. Yep, and use the old booking are, finagle. Oh, my God. God. Yep, I'm like you should honestly be a booker. <laughs> you do it, yeah. You would be great as a booker. <laughs> Why are you not booking? Yeah, <laughs> you just mastered it. Yeah, that's pretty much the game in a nutshell. <laughs> you did some Mitzi Shore shit right there. I had one dude. I moved him, and the whole time he's like, "Dude, I'll buy you anything. You want a coffee?" I'm like, "I guess yeah, I'll take a coffee." He's like, "No, man, I got you. How many you? How many coffees you want?" I was like, "Dude, just one." Saying this dude's buying me, but spend about a hundred dollars at Starbucks on this shit and I'm like oh dude this is crazy too much you didn't have to do all that I'm thinking man is this dude fucking weird and I'm helping him and you know you guys will especially love this story I don't know why I hang out with you guys all the dope stories come out so this dude is fucking heroin sick on the floor while I'm doing the move oh. he's laying on the floor he's drinking the coffee he's telling me don't call 911 I'll be alright dude he's laying on the floor he's like my whole family would disown me if they knew I relapsed I'm moving this dude into a storage unit to live in like an office a storage place in an office like a closet of an office he's gonna live in it he's gonna live in it right and he's like, I'm all right. And dude, he's on the floor, dope sick. I'm walking around him. The guy that owns the storage unit's like, what's wrong with your friend? I'm like, he's sick off the dope. Like, at this point, I already told five people. Now I'm sick of telling people. Yeah, I'm like, what do you think? He's, so, he's sick on the fucking dope. Yeah, I'm stepping over him. He's fucking sick on the floor. You hear Dom with that tape gun. Yeah. <laughs> Keep going, you're doing great. He give me a little motivation, right? You're doing great. Then I look in the boxes, I see what I'm I'm moving. It's all these IDs and credit cards. Dude, it's like thousands of different state IDs and credit cards and machines to make credit cards and IDs. And I'm like, dude, what the fuck? And I load it all up and I'm moving them and to his new home in this <laughs> place. And you should have seen the people that worked in the office. They knew. This dude's got throw up on his shirt, dude. He just withdrew like from heroin. And they go, you're the new one that took over the... The area in the back, he's like, yeah, I'm taking it over. <laughs> Three days, same clothes. I'm like, I'm just his task rabbit. Dude, just this task dude's rabbit. like. I'm not associated or affiliated dude, with looks him. Looks like he just ran a marathon. Dude, all rolling on the floor in a just garage. Moving his criminal enterprise into this office. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, either way, saying I don't get paid. The dude's telling me, he goes, yeah, dude. He goes, you know, I had uh, last week I had an Escalade, you know, with these cards. But he's like, you know, you can get away with that for like a week, but you got to dump it. They'll find out everything was fake after like a week. And he's like, I was living in an Escalade last week. It's crazy how far you can fall off. <laughs> I'm just like, living in a car, yeah, dude. dude <laughs> you scammed somebody and stole an Escalade. It's crazy how shit can just turn around on you. Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one minute you can scam somebody. So with fake credit cards. It's, he's on his way down. <laughs> this caught another guy on the way down. Your fucking roommate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, you need a roommate. <laughs> Dude never paid me. Scam me. Oh. I was like, I should have known. Yeah. You should have known. Oh man. You should have took one of those credit cards and oh. just fucking ran it somewhere. You know, dude, I had. <laughs> I know, dude. I, he probably would have gave you. He bought one. all that Starbucks. He had those fake credit yeah, cards. Yeah, dude, he should at least told yeah. you that he wasn't going to pay you and like, take a credit just card. Right. Credit card. Go buy groceries. Some Nikes with this. or something. Yeah. Yeah, something. groceries. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> what uh so stand up now what you got all these videos that are popping off that are doing really well what's uh like what's going on with that Tell just us. trying to make as many as i could you know I'm trying trying to bust out as many of them as i could to be honest i don't know i'm starting now it's coming around the repost you know i came to a point i'm like some people go hey you posted that but also it's like there's no way everybody's gonna yeah, see repost, oh. there's repost. reruns you yeah. know you post it once repost. six months later there's nothing wrong with that. Hit it with a repost. 
there's a guy I'm following actually on social. I watch other people and get inspired that aren't comedians, and you see like they've got people got their whole shows on their phone. You know, now I'm making excuses like, oh, I need this, but. Do you ever see that car, that dude that sells cars? No. I love this dude, dude. He sells cars on there, and he's got different things, like when they come in and don't tell you they're paying cash, and they'll be like, what, you're paying cash? <laughs> it's just like, you know, yeah, here's yeah, the yeah. numbers. We ran those. <laughs> yeah, dude. I, maybe because I'm partial to it because I sold cars, too. I, I tried selling cars, too. Yeah, I was really good at selling cars. The yeah, dude, that shit was better. a fun one. Because I, I, could, I could make a story up about the car. Yeah, people would talk about, you know, I didn't feel right ripping off. You get those people. I, that's why know. I couldn't stay in it because they, to make the kind of money you want to make, you got to really fuck a lot of people over. Yeah. And when it came to like, if it was some young dipshit dude, right. who listen to my logic, sure. Yeah. But when it was like an old lady or a family. You get that single and, mother. And they're, just, they're just not smart with their money and they came in there and they have bad credit and that's what they, and they, that would be hard. Yeah. That's what did for me. That was the breaking point. They wanted me to bust this single mother. They're like, dude, hold the trade because, you know, you get the trade in. Yep. She had a beautiful trade in. I forgot what it was. It was like her stepdad's extended cab pickup truck. Like, I knew they were going to sell this yeah. thing for like $11,000. Yeah, those 000. are the ones. They go so fast. Right? Yeah. And, dude, so he's like, um, yeah, just tell her you'll give her 1500 bucks for the trade. And she's got she's getting a Dodge Neon because she can't have a truck with the kids the or whatever. and all that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So either way, she's doing this trade it's like 400 a month for this piece of shit neon we just took mm -hmm. in and he's like she's desperate i'll never forget he goes look she's desperate she'll hard. sign i couldn't do it yep. yeah four kids all barefoot yeah. i'm like Dude, this i grew ain't up that me. way and i my granted the woman probably it doesn't make the best life decisions in general but that doesn't mean i gotta be one of the people no. right the trade. Out, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, i knew a dude killed it that we worked with and uh Dude, he would join all the churches and be like, pass his card yeah. out, 15 different religions, uh, get all involved. Yeah. Uh, if Honestly, man, if I knew, like if this never came about, like stand up, and I knew I could live in some like small town, I'd be a fucking preacher. I'd be all that shit. Oh, uh, yeah. And, I, and I'd have a used car dealership. <laughs> <laughs> I, I bury you. Yeah. I bury you. Dude, I'd be like right. that guy in Roadhouse, the guy that uh, Swayze has to fight. That would be that guy. Some nice apartments. <laughs> I this dude, a piece of shit. You know what this dude did? He got caught. They ended up firing him for it, too. I used to, um, I worked there in detail, so I'd wash the cars. And, you know, he'd be selling them all to this place. I'm thinking, bro, he's getting, like, every nurse here. It was, like, one of those retirement homes, like, one of those spots. Dude, he was going to a retirement home, talking to people and selling them a car. Dude, and there was a point you pull in, there's, like, 15 grand amps just <laughs> laid out, mint detail, just all in the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> you can follow me at Josh Ricardo and go to joshacardo.com for any tour dates. Don, please tell everybody Stop, where you're where you at. at. Uh, yeah, uh, so anyways, tour dates. I got some stuff coming up, but just follow me, Dominic Leonelli, Instagram. DominicLeonelli.com is the website, DominicLeonelli.com. That's where I'll be putting tour dates. I'm trying to set that up, actually. So, Do it. you know, hit me up on the gram. Let me know what city you're in, Dominic Leonelli. And that's it for me, right? All right. You can follow me at Ed McGowan Comedy on Instagram. Go to EdMcGowan.com to see all my stuff. Email us. Uh, yeah. working Working class comedians. Tell us about your jobs. Job, tell us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll help you work it out. Uh, all right. Thanks. We'll see you guys again next week. You can listen to us on all major podcast platforms every Wednesday. You can follow us on Instagram at Working Class Holes. Also, make sure you watch the full show on YouTube. All you got to do is type in Working Class Holes. And please don't forget to rate us five stars and tell a friend. Come on.